forgot that the one little staggered motion is not in this game where you can jump and then glide and then you can hit triangle to have a spiral kind of like stop himself and like mid oh shit oh boy here we go hello everyone and welcome to part one of Spyro the Dragon. We are finally back to a traditional let's play. For a while we were doing, uh, resist I want to say Spyro again, Resistance 3, the co-op playthrough with Brandon, which of course was pre-recorded a very long time ago. Um, definitely a different let's play because it had a different person involved and we were kind of going back and forth, having our usual bullshit banter. Um, you can see I already have a save file. We're going to obviously do a new save file of Spyro the Dragon. But yes, this will be a um, a new... like the go, Going back to how we usually do it, just, you know, you and me, nobody else in the room, of course, unless you're watching this with somebody else, which I would find a little bit odd, but hopefully it's just you and me and we can have a private conversation. I'm going to talk over this um, cutscene because, like I said, we're back to the way it used to be, which is me bullshitting for the next mm, roughly 25 30 minutes sometimes it goes a little bit over 31 32 33 minutes maybe um typically we don't go too longer than that but let's face it pretty much a half hour and a full half hour too not one of those situations where you're watching a uh, you know a sitcom on cable television and you think oh it's a half hour but really it's like the runtime's like 21 22 minutes because of all the advertisements and whatnot no you're getting a full 30 minutes here as you're all pretty much used to at this point so it's not really a big surprise but maybe i'm just trying to maybe i'm just fishing for compliments right now because i always want that credit um and notice we do have the face cam still couldn't offer that in resistance 3 because it was recorded a while ago but it's like we did like what three four parts of god of war just as we normally do it and then um i was like fuck it i'll finally start the face cam for you bastards and so that that's the the starting point of when we finally started doing um face cams we'll still keep doing it obviously because you know it's right here you, you already see that so boy a lot of stuff to tell you because it's been so long since i got to talk to you guys before uh the last time i really talked to you all was uh the last part of god of war um i'm hoping that this goes well in terms of everything being here the past you know i'd say week or so it's been a little tough with recordings and whatnot i don't want to talk to you um earlier my power went out for about like 30 seconds so if that happens we're totally fucked and I don't know what's going to happen with all the shit I'm recording right now. My face cam, my audio, my gameplay, um, the audio and the, uh, the face cam would be lost. I would assume it would, you know, save my the gameplay because it kind of records procedurally. Um, but I'm, like, kind of nervous that that, like, stays all well and good and that doesn't, like, go anywhere. Uh, so that I'm a little, little nervous about and then the other thing I'm nervous about is that the audio sometimes when I'm recording now maybe it's because my computer is finally showing its age because it's from 2012 even though it's still like a it was a fully spec'd out iMac so this thing was a lot of money and uh, it still runs like extremely well but maybe that might be like where it's a little bit showing its wear because when I record audio sometimes it like skips especially if it's like really long audio and especially if i'm like doing a lot of demanding things on my computer which right now it's not super demanding but i'm running three programs and you know so i'm hoping that that won't push it over the edge uh so hopefully everything goes all well and good and we don't lose uh, all of our shit here gotta readjust a little bit of course this is spyro one the very first spyro so uh, the la we only played one other Spyro game on the channel, which was Spyro Year of the Dragon. That's my favorite Spyro, by the way. I fucking love Spyro Year of the Dragon. I've played that game maybe, like, between five to ten times. The I'm gonna give the range a little bit of a big, big margin there, but it's, like, definitely more than five times. Probably less than ten times, but I've played that game a lot. Um, and every time I play Year of the Dragon, I always have to, um, like, go for the 100%, because I just can't not go for that 100%. Uh, gotta remember right away that Spyro, just number one Spyro the Dragon, you cannot swim in this game, so that deals damage to you, which you just saw right there. With Spyro 1, I've 
the last time I played this game was when I downloaded it as a PlayStation 1 Classic. So that was probably about like 2009, I think. What is uh Oh, I charred that. Uh, there we go. I charred those flowers. Probably like 2009 or something is the last time I played this game. And obviously, I did go for 100%. You saw the save file we were loading up, which I actually don't think was set to 100%. 77 dragons is not... That's not all of them. I thought it was like 80 or something. I don't remember, like, off the bat. But that's the last time I played this game. And then the last time before that was 1990, whatever the fuck this game came out. Or did it come out in 2000... 2001 i don't actually remember actually you know what i'm gonna look it up right now really quick what year did this game came, uh, come out Spell the dragon of course type in Spell the dragon you just get a general sense of like the year's release dates 1998 that, that's what i thought 1998 19 yeah that's so that's probably the last time i actually played this game before the um ps3 emulation release on the playstation store so I've only really played it twice. <laughs> so I may I'm definitely gonna be rusty here. I'm not gonna remember everything. I'm not gonna go know where everything is. So uh, I'm just throwing that out there right now. But you guys kind of already should expect that at this point. You know how these things typically go with me. I gotta make sure I don't lean forward too much because then I'm off of the uh, face cam. That's something I gotta get used to since this will only be the second game I've ever used a face cam for. <laughs> Also, what? get out of the corner. Like Spyro, you're the dragon. This is a, another situation where I don't think I could play this game with, with without doing everything, like without collecting everything and going for like a hundred percent run. The game, the, like this game, is typically very like Spyro is like typically a very easy game to finish. It's very easy to collect all the gems and everything. Like it's not a challenging game by any means, but I've always liked Spyro in the sense that. Well, not only does it look like great for being for like being what it is, but like the fact that it's often a very satisfying game to play. Like, yeah, it's very simple. Yeah, it's not necessarily too difficult, but it, you feel very accomplished when you're playing it because it is so easy to do everything the game offers, which is either doing all the dragons, collecting gems, or like I say, you're the dragon when you're collecting all the eggs or whatnot, um, and doing all the side games. It's not super challenging, but since there's a lot to do and it counts towards the hundred percent, you often feel very satisfied with what you're doing because you're doing everything the game has to offer. So I've always liked that aspect of it. Also, I'm playing on a DualShock 4, so I gotta remember that there is no start and select button. I gotta hit options and share. 74 out of 100. There's one other dragon we're missing. Did I already, yeah, I already went in here. See, this is already gonna be a, uh, <laughs> this is already gonna be a nightmare. Actually, isn't the rest of um the gems and stuff up here on these, uh, ledges and stuff i think you can go up like way over these uh ledges and actually run around up there i'm trying to remember a little bit it's been a long time but let's take one little sweep around this place make sure we got everything oh this looks like did i already go in here no see no i didn't that's why i gotta pay attention to what the fuck i'm doing yeah here we go now this is where you can hop up hey spyro I don't know what anybody's saying as usual because the audio is super low just so I can not have the TV audio coming from the microphone. Good lord, there's just been like so much that's happened recently. I mean right now it's October 9th as I'm recording this, uh, so summer is over. <laughs> Which is, I guess it really worked out for me to release Resistance 3 when I did because it was a whole Let's Play series finished and ready to upload. So I was able to have so much time off from doing a scheduled upload every single Monday. Uh, as I've talked about a few times, I love summer. When it's summer, I like to go out. I like to enjoy myself. I, if I ever have a day off from my, my typical day job, I like to get out of the house and I like to go somewhere. I like to do something. So it was, I guess, very nice and a good time to do Resistance 3 because I had um, some extra time and didn't have to worry about that one particular um, video. So I did a lot. <laughs> I did a lot this summer. I uh, went traveling a, like a, around a, most of like Western New York. Ah, I missed that chest. Throughout most of Western New York, uh, you know, went to Buffalo tons of times because Buffalo is pretty much right there. But I'm in I'm in Niagara Falls. Uh, went to Canada plenty of times. Shit, I forgot that 
the one little staggered motion in, is not in this game where you can jump and then glide and then you can hit triangle t to have Spyro kind of like stop himself and like mid oh shit fuck to get him to like stop gliding or maybe you can do that in this game again I don't remember as far as I know you can only do that in Year of the Dragon I just fucked it up again Jesus Christ but yes I did that um, we went to Pittsburgh. I've never been to Pittsburgh before. That was actually... Shit. <laughs> I keep, keep missing it. That was actually cool. I've never been to that city before. That was a really nice city. I love it there. We went for Anthrocon. Anthrocon is that um, convention where people like, you know, they're like the furry people. Like they like to... They're like into anthropomorphics and whatnot. I did not go for that reason. We went because my girlfriend's friend was a vendor there. She likes to sell shit there. So, uh, I, we went to, like, she, my girlfriend actually also got a vendor badge to help her set up and everything to, in the actual convention center, and then I got a badge, too, just to, like, get into the place, but I wasn't allowed to, like, help out with the vending stuff, but we, like, just typically, like, would check the place out or whatnot and check on her to and bring her food when she was in the convention center. And then we spent most of our time not at the convention and actually just enjoying the city. But a few times we were actually at the uh, convention. Which way, which um, place should I go to first? How about this one over here? I'm trapped in this little, uh, this small little maze. Dark Hollow. Yeah, but there was a few times where we were still at the convention center to help her and whatnot, and that was actually pretty cool. People like those, like those people that are like into being like furries, or they're, they're called furries, but like they get a lot of shit. Um, they're just nerds being like nerds, just like anybody else. I don't know why people give them so much shit for, you know, doing what they like to do. But it was like a really cool. <laughs> it was just, it was like it was a little bit weird too. Is at the same time like. We'd be walking down the streets of Pittsburgh, and then there'd just be, like, a group of people, like, in full costume, and they're, like, being legit about it, you know? That's, like, that's what they do, and I can, I can admire something like that for sure. We all, uh, have our own things that we're into, and that's something those, that those people are into, and I don't blame them for it whatsoever. Even though it is definitely still odd. I don't remember how to get past this guy. I, uh, this is all actually, actually all coming back to me. I want to talk about what I've done, but this is, uh, really becoming a bit of a blast from the, uh, past for me. I definitely need a key to get this um, chest open, right? Somebody answer me. I'm pretty sure. You need a key for that. I don't know what it is. We'll find out. It's very simple. Yeah, fire. Fire hurts that guy. Fire can't hurt these people because they got shields. Oh, that's how I get past that guy. I gotta wait for him to turn, turn around and then I can... Um, blow fire on his ass. I like how Spyro in this game always sounded like a little bit of a nerd. He's like, I'm going after Nasty Nork. No, Spyro, you must do all these other things first. <laughs> he sounds like a dweeb. That's cool, though. I like Spyro. I'd hang out with Spyro. It's been a long time since we did Spyro Year of the Dragon, now that I think of it. That was like one of our first Let's Plays. I don't exactly remember the order of, like, how we did Let's Plays, because I've done a shitload of them now, but Jack and Daxter was the first one that I ever did, and then, like, right, like, not either it was Spyro the Dragon right after, or maybe one or two games in between, but, like, Spyro the Dragon, Spyro the Dragon was one of the first Let's Plays I ever did, so it's, uh, it's nice to kind of come full circle and come back and finally play a Spyro game on the channel. And hopefully we won't do as poorly as that game, because I believe... I mean, I, yeah, I did my 100% run, but, uh, you know, I was still, like, kind of getting into the motions and kind of learning how to properly do a good Let's Play and, and, you know, keep talking and try to be entertaining. That didn't really go as planned, but hopefully this aspect will be a little easier. What is that for? That, those are lives. Okay. It's all coming back. I'm, that's going to be hard to get used to, is that hitting triangle to get Spyro to, like, and it was also, like, you had to do that to, like, leap onto certain ledges. I don't remember if that was in Spyro 2, actually. That's the thing, is that Spyro 2, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, that's probably the least played Spyro for me. Because I played... Yeah, I've played this game, like, either two or three times, again, on the PS3, and then 
one or two times in 1998 when the game like originally came out. That was the only only times that I played this game. Spyro 2, I believe I only played once at the time that that came that game came out. I don't remember what year Spyro 2 was. Um, I'd imagine 2000 or 99, or maybe it was much later. That's like Ripto's Rage is like I've only I only played it once, and I have it on PS3 too. I bought it. But at the time, I just I was just like, I bought it. It was one of those things where it's like, oh, great. I'll get to this when I get to it. Never actually got to it. So that will be... That'll take us some time to... <laughs> well, it's like, we'll obviously play it at some point. Because now that we're playing one, pff, you can't got to play all three of them on the channel, right? But when we play two, that's one where I will probably definitely, like, <laughs> not remember fucking anything that's going on but you know what that's actually will, will probably make it a lot more enjoyable for me because one of the things i love about these games or just like games in general is i wish i could play certain games again like it was the first time for me like i wish i could play all these spyro games over again as if i've never played them i wish i could do that um this past two weeks, I was playing the Bioshock Collection on PS4, so Bioshock 1, 2, Infinite, and I'm playing through one again, and it's just, like, so fucking good. I got the Platinum Trophy, like, destroyed that game. Like, I just, like, it took me, like, three days, and I just, I fucking burned through that game. It was so good. I played 2. 2 is still a great game. Totally awesome. Really enjoyed that one as well. And then I'm going through Infinite. And Infinite's the one where it really got to me. Like, I saw the ending of Infinite. Again, I'm not going to do any spoilers, of course. I'll respect, you know, spoilers, even though those games came out how long ago. But I was even going through Infinite again. Like, And then I watched the, the, the ending roll, the ending sequence. And I'm just, like, going through it. And I'm just like, oh, my God. These games are so fucking good. Like, I wish I could play these games again. Like, it was the first time I've ever played them. I wish I could. That's how good they were and now i just like start to feel that way about like and i've always felt like this i've always felt like this for other games like especially ones i really love like oh my god i wish i could and it's like so disappointing that you can't but like that's a true testament to those certain games if they can really make you feel like that like trying to experience them again for the first time kind of like eating like a, a good burger or a good pizza or a good taco or a good blank and then immediately being sad like oh i wish i could do that again but you can't that's the sad reality of it is you're gonna have to just deal with it i wish i could play pt for the first time again too but i probably at the same time i probably wouldn't want that to happen because that game made me like almost shit my pants more and less the first time i played that game because the first time i played that game i never even wanted to i was like what i wasn't even playing and I'm, I had my eyes covered, like, the whole time. I was like, oh, God, this is, like, this is fucking tor this is a, this is a torture. Literally torture. Is that everything? Yeah, 100 out of 100. 3 out of 3. Sweet. We can bounce out of this piece. See, look at this. This is a super small level. Like, it's super simple, you know? Like, this was, like, a straight-up kids game, but it's just so good. It's so good. Also, I'll see, like, Facebook posts or, you know, those shared posts or whatever, and it shows, like, the title screen of Spyro, You're the Dragon, and it's like, yo, y'all remember this or something, and there's all these fucking losers that don't play games at all, and they're just like, yeah, I remember these game, this game, this game, like, Spyro was a shit, blah, blah. I'm just like, fuck you, you poser-ass bastard, even, th like, they, even though it was probably part of their childhood memories, and that's fine, but it's like, fuck you, man. People that still play games, we love this shit. That's how we get. We get really upset if people don't, uh, if, you know, like, uh, I don't know, like, you, you know what I'm saying, right? Where it's like somebody who's not into the, who's really not into it, but you, you're really into it. And they say like, oh yeah, like that was totally my thing too. And you're like, you're kind of like giving them that evil stare. Like you're thinking, you're thinking, oh yeah, to totally in the back of your head. You're thinking of fucking loser poser ass bitch you know you're just like really irrational about it you're like really mean i'll see that on facebook about Spyro. i'll be like fuck you i hate you i'll kill you this is the okay this is what i was talking about this is the area where you can get up on the the hills and run around and i think there's one of those um blue guys that are uh that pick on you and go na 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 
they're like really annoying, but they're also hard to get to chase too. Because they're fast, they're fast as shit, you gotta chase the shit out of them. You know, this game actually holds up really well too. You can't really, it doesn't look great when you play it on a HDTV obviously. Even on a PlayStation 3 which tries to do a little bit of uh, help to bring the game up to snuff. But if you were to play this again like on a CRT TV or something, this game would still look really good. Like it holds up really well. Even mechanically, it holds up pretty well. Like the game doesn't feel too stiff. It still feels pretty loose. Has good platforming elements. Like this game still like holds up dramatically well. Like, I guess that's why I, I've always I can always play Spiral Year of the Dragon over and over and over again. Because uh, I played the game like I played Year of the Dragon like again like between five or ten times, and so it was like you could basically cut it in half. Like so and so times on the original PlayStation, and then so and so times on the PS3. Um, PS1 Classic, and that's why I can go back, I went back to it so many times then, and that's why I went back to it so many times when it came out on PSN, because, like, it just, it held up so well. Like, these games are still totally playable and totally enjoyable. And it, yeah, like, I'll be that guy, it would be awesome to, like, have a modern developer, you know, take this game and do it again and do it do it really good justice in like the same veins of the original Spyros because the last Spyro that came out was on PS3, 360, I don't know what it was called or whatever. I think it was also on Wii. But then there's also other Spyros that came out on Wii or something. I could not be super exact with you, but like obviously this game did have semi-recent releases and it's like it's just not Spyro, you know? It just doesn't feel like it. It doesn't play like it. And I've tried it, you know. Um, and the Spyro games that came out on PlayStation 2, I forget who developed them. Obviously, it wasn't in Insomniac, but the developer that did those games, uh, those games actually weren't too bad. They didn't stray too too far off the um, off the beaten path of Spyro, even when like they added like the electric uh, electricity breath and the the ice breath to him like those games weren't bad you know they actually still followed the spyro formula and i wouldn't mind another developer to to follow on that path and keep it you know where it's supposed to be what i would really love is a remaster of these three games and you know when i say a remaster i'm talking because obviously like the like ps1 games have not been like remastered in the general sense of like say when um ps2 games like remember when like it started to get that turned into a thing where PlayStation 2 games were constantly getting remastered on PlayStation 3. Like, and they that's where, like, they really kind of went back and got retouched a little bit and got added trophies. That really did not ever happen for PlayStation 1 games. Um, it's going to be happening for the first time on PlayStation 4 with the Crash Bandicoot remaster. That'll be the first situation where we had, you know, PS1 games really looked back and retouched. I guess one example is, um... Final Fantasy 7, like, that did happen. That happened on, you know, it was remastered on Steam, on PC, and then that actually got ported to PS4. So that's, like, one example, I guess. But in the general sense, PS1 games getting remastered was not, like, didn't, is not really a thing. So the, you know, the Crash uh, Bandicoot remaster is going to be, like, one of those first scenarios where that actually is a thing. And, um... So... You know, depending on how that comes out or how it looks, because we haven't seen any fucking footage of how that how that remaster is going to look and how how it's going to play. But you know, assuming that it like comes out good and it's going to be like enjoyable and it's going to like play totally fine, and I would love for like something like that to happen to these three games. Oh, there's gems down there too. Look at that. That's definitely something I probably would have missed had I not noticed it right away. Ooh, there's something in here too. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, a key. I didn't even see where the chest was. But that I would love. So much. Especially if these games had trophies. And it had, like, obviously if it had trophies for, like, going for the 100% in each game. But that's the thing, is that because, like I was mentioning, you know, the game's so easy that it's, you know, gratifying for anybody to get this and play this. And, they like, anybody could get the 100%. You know, without much, like, with relative ease. So, if, for the trophies, like, if the these games got remastered and they got trophies, you'd have to do certain trophies that, like, really took it a step above in terms of, 
making the game like a little bit difficult or something because i still want my trophies to be difficult is the thing too so if these games had trophies 100 percent trophy would not would not do it you have to have you'd have to add something else to it that would make it a little bit harder like um going through the game going through the game completely without like uh without doing a restart or something so without losing all your spiral lives that would be like that i would enjoy that's not super difficult but at the same time definitely can pose a little bit of a challenge because there's still certain levels in this game where you could absolutely you know die by accident or something and, and it'll happen to you in too many instances or there's some certain enemies that can get pretty annoying like it definitely can happen in this game and all the other spiral games so add something like that you know or it's like try to complete the game without um losing like uh, without losing our lives and without losing all your lives just excuse me and using your uh, a restart yeah there's that son of a bitch gotta get him gotta get him yeah there we go and then these are i forget what these are for i think they're just like something you need you just collect yeah you just collect them i don't i don't remember what they're for I just don't like how this area is so open. It's like making me definitely think I'm gonna miss a gem here or there. Yeah, see how they're just so secretly well hidden. I don't think there was any upgrades for sparks in this game, was there? Like where you could um, because it's like you're the dragon. You had um, you know, little mini games where you could increase um, sparks reach of gems and stuff. And you had a there was also a situation where if you were missing gems, you get the upgrade where sparks will tell you like the general direction of what where you were missing a gem like you could hold l2 or r2 or something and sparks would point in a certain direction so you knew where to go that was also pretty handy uh what am i missing 19 gems and i'm missing a dragon too what the fuck i'm totally i'm completely or something and i am missing like entirely here that's not i'm just hoping that i don't have to have put myself in a situation where i have to cut footage and fucking spiral the dragon excuse me i'm still recovering from bad nasal issues too my sinuses act up pretty bad during this um during this season so you guys are used to that you've been around long enough you know what i do you know what i sound like when i do this shit yeah there's like some area I'm like total oh, two gems right here thank god there's something there's some area I'm like totally overlooking right now probably so let's just uh jump down here and see where it is that I'm missing that takes me to the yeah that's the end this was a room of nothing okay because I obviously, obviously got everything there already. That's a problem, man. I can't, I can't play games and talk at the same time. I'm too stupid. Like nor, like if I was playing this without recording and talking, I would easily get a lay of the land and not fuck this up. And this brings me back out here, right? So what? Where's the, where's the, the other dragon I'm missing? Where's like the chest, you know? here look around a little bit is it is it something with this building over here that i missed oh shit I fell oh real i <sighs> why would you do that why would you um, make that little awning open so I could fall through it? What's up with that? Why are you making me look stupid? I gotta keep itching my, or scratching my beard too frequently. It's been like a big problem for me lately. For some reason, my hair, like, I just, it, my beard gets super irritated. I gotta shave it, like, all the time. I don't get why. I gotta shave it, like, every, like, two, three days. It's super fucking annoying me. over there that's where I got the key that's down that on that little beach down there so what's over here anything anything what am I missing oh shit more gems oh 
that's a good thing I got those. Ooh, more gems, Jesus. Stop, I'm rolling down the hill by accident. Just one gem. Can I burn these trees down? Perhaps? Hmm. Boy, this must be super exciting to watch now. Oh my god, we're running out of time. This can't go on much longer. I have to finish this level now. Where the f- What the fuck am I overlooking? Now I'm only missing 13 gems, which obviously have to be in that chest. Wherever it may be. I'm not missing anything. Return home. What am I not seeing? Yeah, I can't smash through there. Oh! There we go. Son of a bitch. And there's the fucking... Oh, I bet there's ten gems in there. Yeah, sure enough, there's ten gems. Boom, all the uh, gems. I rescued Gavin, Gavin Free. Watch the dragon Rooster fly Teeth fly and... His color indicates his power. Achievement Hunter. Slow-mo guy's fame. Like me. I haven't watched their videos in a long time. I've been too busy. All right, how are we looking? We're looking pretty good already. Three levels fully complete. <sighs> We're doing pretty good, aren't we? I believe those are all, like those red eggs, that's the whole game right there. So there's only, out of the entire game, that's how many eggs there are. It's not like per level or anything like that. Gonna rise up higher and higher. And then... I remember where this is. How to get home. Right over here. Jesus. Oh, we're probably going to have a lot of moments like that in this game because we are going for the 100% once again. I mean, really, I, I, I mean, realistically, who the fuck plays, like, Spyro and doesn't, like, go for the 100% and just, like, does the bare minimum? It'd take, like, it take you, like, a fucking hour. Like, let's play, if I did, like, a let's play that way, it would be, like, two, three parts, not even. Well, it is me, so I'd, I'd probably stretch it out to, like, five or six. Anyway, thank you all for watching this part of Spyro, your, Spyro, I wanted to your, say You're the Dragon. I'm so used to this. I love You're the Dragon. That's how many times I've played that game. All right. Thank you for watching part one of Spyro the Dragon. It's great to finally be talking to you guys again. Uh, I got more stuff to say to you in part two, so we'll do that then. And I'll see you all in the next one.